Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hello everyone. I'm going to be doing another Netflix Marvel show, The Defenders. Now even though The Punisher came out after The Defenders, his series that is, he started in season 2 of Daredevil, I decided to do this podcast last. It is one of my favorite TV series as it takes all the shows except for The Punisher and brings the characters together. So this will be no spoilers, no major reveals, except for the obviously with the Punisher. This show has all the characters. You have all the side characters. They bring them all together pretty well. The comic that the Defenders is based on is called the Defenders. They were a less famous, if not less heroic superhero team that go way back. And like the Avengers, they have a constant shifting of roster characters come and go and they've had some pretty good runs here and there but just never got the fame that the avengers did so they decided to use the marvel tv shows to do a defenders show this has only eight episodes and they bring every character's flavor into this show Maybe because it's a Netflix show, and I don't know how they did things, but you have similar writers, similar directors. Maybe they worked on each other's shows, or at the very least, they got into a room together, took the flavor and the writing from each character and made it unique and brought them together. And that's a huge, successful move on Netflix's part or Marvel's part. I think it's brilliant. I have so much fun. I watch it over and over. I think I've watched it four or five times now. The way they bring the humor from certain shows, the characters, they bring back um, side characters from each one's show and make a really good story to bring them together. So I would say it starts with the ramifications of Iron Fist. So... What happens before the Defenders is two seasons of Daredevil and then one season of Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, and Iron Fist. So in the chronological order of time, that's what came out and then the Defenders came out. So the other shows that had season two and even season three are after. And at that time, you had had season two of Daredevil, which dealt with Elektra and The Hand. And when Iron Fist started, delving into the mystical, supernatural type um, genre, it's revealed where the hand comes from, what their purpose is. And that culminates in the Defenders. So you can see Luke Cage and Jessica Jones as being brought into this war, so to speak. And we get... Sigourney Weaver as a believable villain. Netflix sure knows how to get the actresses and actors in the show, how to get the side cast and the minor characters to blend well. She comes in and she just takes charge. Her presence is felt on the screen. And Electra also just done so well. You find these side villains from the other shows are brought together so you find out about the hand and the five fingers of the hand i thought it was genius you get more in depth into the villains believable villains also colored by a little more out there villains from the from the series the special effects The witty banter between the characters I thought was amazing. I have so much fun watching the show. And I guess um, guess I'm easy to please. I've been reading and collecting comics since I was a child. 
it's uh, something I consider myself. I like to do when I write my adventures for superheroes since I role play characters. Uh, I, I'm a game master, if you want to call it. It's like the dungeon master for superhero games. And I'll bring all the genres in, as I've said on some of them. And what I like to do is take the characters and make character sheets for them. And then pepper them into the adventures we have. So as these seasons are progressing, as the defenders are coming out, when I'm having a game session with my friends and my players, I interject them in. And it adds a real great flavor. It brings excitement. It's familiarity. You can feel yourself in the show. And like I said, Netflix Marvel shows do New York great or any setting they're in. I think it might have been one of the biggest uh, films, filming in New York for television series at the time. So you get the feel of New York, the elements of all the shows are brought together superbly, the acting, even an improvement, because there are little comic tie-ins that you want to see, so you want to see Luke Cage and Iron Fist together, because together, back in the day, they were in the comics, it was Power Man and Iron Fist, and you get those little moments, you get the interactions between Jessica Jones and Daredevil, and even characters, like I said, like Stick uh, from the Daredevil series, and Carrie Ann Moss, um, and Misty Knight, Colleen Wing, all used really well. And when you look at a show, eight episodes, it made me rethink certain things, like in my head thinking, you know, maybe shows should be eight episodes long. I mean, there's so much good, and it, the momentum is uh, so rewarding. And when it's over, you're like, oh, I want more. Whereas the other shows, I love them. They have a way of having a lull in a 13-episode season. Now, for me, that's amplified with other shows who have 22 episodes. And those, I say, is it's more difficult to hold my attention. You get repetitive episodes. The theme runs a little too long. I think these Netflix shows from Marvel hit the mark. And like I said, I'm easy to please. I'm a big fan. I can't say enough about the Defenders. Great show. I wish they'd do more. Get the characters into the movies. I mean, I don't know why in Avengers Endgame you can't have a camera pan in the city when Thanos is attacking and you show the Defenders on the corner of some street in Manhattan. I, I think it could have been easily done. However, you know, I don't know about how these divisions run with TV divisions and the movie divisions. Maybe Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. got away with it, but it wasn't going to happen with Netflix. So, but on its own, The Defender stands as a great show. You can actually pick it up from the beginning. And if you have any understanding of some of the shows, you could watch it. So I don't even think you need to watch every episode in the, or every season in the order. You can have a general idea of, let's say you watched only Daredevil or Jessica Jones. So you've already got Luke Cage in there from Jessica Jones. And the story's just fun. It's it, The stakes are high when they need to be. It ends on a really curious note. And you're not sure where it's going to go. And then they give you a reveal that's pretty interesting. For me, it might not pay off because I think the next thing that would closely tie into Defenders would be Daredevil Season 3. Although Jessica Jones makes a reference to it in her season that happens afterwards and it kind of impacts her in a way. It's mostly felt with Daredevil, I think, Season 3. So don't miss this show, watch it, fun all around, uh, surprises that are genuine, 
fight choreography that's amazing. The way they can balance whose powers do what. You can get the idea of Daredevil and Iron Fist in contrast to Luke Cage and Jessica Jones. Uh, the strength and vulnerability. The, all the aspects are touched on, displayed well. It's just all around good. And even the camera and the cinematography. There are fight scenes and the camera angles are just amazing. The way it pans and comes back and forth as characters are going across the, stream, the screen. There are layers of fighting. I, I, I remember this particularly in the X-Men cartoon from back in the day. Where they had a scene where there's a hole in like three walls. And the camera would go from room to room and showing the depth of the characters as they're fighting. It, the show does that in a great way. we got villains who... You, you, minor sort of villains in other shows and you're happy to see them show up madame gal is one of mine and when you look at the displays of power what they're trying to do it's interesting to me uh the reveal about uh iron fist and daredevil's connection so to speak it was surprising it was i thought it was uh, a pretty good idea and it's just uh Top-notch show. I don't see... Not even real nitpicks with this. It just... Kept me going. Eight episodes. Kicked ass all around. And like I said, the... You know, because... Jessica Jones knows Luke Cage. Uh, some of the characters have intermingled. And you've got... Claire. Who's a mixture of, like, the Night Nurse and other characters. Uh, Rosaria Dawson. Uh, intermingling in the show so she's bringing some some of them together and you can see the exasperation and the first interactions maybe of some of the characters and it's done so well like the humor when Jessica Jones and Daredevil on screen together her reluctance to even be a part of this for any amount of time is just true to her character and she makes a reference on uh, I think it's part of the trailer and they're, they're in the elevator and they get on the train and she takes a uh, sleeping bum's beer and just <laughs> drinks it. Just really knows how to capture the characters uniquely, put them together in a way that's fun. It continues the story arc. You feel like um, this is where it led to in a good way, not forced. The way it plays out, it's just... Really captures me. Um, uh, if Netflix would have ended their shows there, I would have been happy. I would not have um, been upset with all. I am happy for what came afterwards because season three, Jessica Jones is great. Maybe not so much Daredevil, but you had the season twos of Luke Cage and Iron Fist. And we got the Punisher. But like I said, he's not in it. I. Re can't recommend this enough. It's just a uh, amazing time, even watching it with my friends, and then getting to mix some of the characters in some of the stories I wrote. Uh, it really pays off for me. Netflix's Defenders looks like this will be the end of my podcast for this series, as the contracts are over. And although the Punisher comes later, I might release it sooner. I don't know why. Maybe it's just a mental glitch but anyway the defenders watch it i recommend it fun all around and i don't think you'll regret it i'll see everybody next time take care everybody